wait, I know you. We met in Kukone. You're that stone cold killer I asked to look after the love of my life. What's that look for? Surely you haven't forgotten me. You and me, we had a moment, a connection. Not like the one I've got with her, of course, but I know I left an impression. Hey! There's nothing creepy about my love. It's as pure as the pristine waters of a forest stream. Fair point about the cheese stink, though. But enough about me, this is about Miss Nashu. Ever since she got sucked into that weird portal back east, I've been scouring the world for any sign of her. I was this close to giving up, but then, huzzah. I found her here in Rats at hand. Normally I'd be happy to get back to playing the silent invisible guardian, but she seems pretty distressed by the plight of her inspector friend. He's here too, but laid up and showing no signs of waking anytime soon. My Nashu has been fashioning all sorts of medicines in hopes of rousing him, but to no avail. I mean, I couldn't care less if he kicked the bucket, but I hate seeing her like this. She's liable to work herself to death. So, what say you? Will you deliver my dearest Nashu from her plight? You'll find her over at the High Crucible, no doubt slaving over an Alembic. And with that, I'll get back to cheering her on from the shadows. You too, I guess. Now go, quickly. Save my beloved. And that should do it. Now to take this medicine and... C.O.R. K-Nicotine. It feels like it's been forever. Though definitely less than a year, I'm sure. What brings you to Rats at Han? Enjoying a spot of adventuring, or perhaps... Then you've heard. It's true. Inspector Heil brown has gone into hibernation again, and, ah, uh, wait. You're giving me that look. The one that screams, what about the whole weird portal business? Alright, since you silently asked. So, back on the Ruby Sea, remember how Greg got doused with Duprism and was forced to whisk us all far away? How that strange rift then opened up, which the inspector then got sucked up into, and how I followed him in after that. Well, after that, we all ended up in this bizarre place. Couldn't tell up from down, left from right. And so we wandered, lost, and confused. Fortunately, Greg came to his senses and explained that we were in the interspectorial rift, and then used the same trick to bring us home. Greg himself stayed behind, though. Something about a score that he had to settle. Not sure what that was about, but hey, you know Greg. Anyway, we're back now, but the rub is that Inspector Heil Dibrand hasn't opened his eyes once. I know he needs his beauty sleep, but it's been an awfully long time, and we've got cases to solve. I've been trying my hand at apothecary stuff, seeing if I can't make something that'll get him up and moving, but nothing seems to work. But I think we're making progress. Me and Mr. Chupacabra from the Shukshauka concern, that is. You remember Mr. Chupacabra, right? got sucked into the rift along with us, former evil mastermind, 
Not so bad once you get to know him. Pleased I am to meet you once more, and under less compromising circumstances. If I may correct our mutual friend, I am Jew Breaker, Chairman of the Sarjatra Concern. Your distrustful and somewhat bloodthirsty glare is not unwarranted, but in my defense, who among us has not contemplated enslaving the rich and powerful to bend the world to their whim? Ha ha, ha. Ahem. I pray you forgive me my poor joke, and allow me to assure you that after wandering the interdimensional rift for the sisters only know how long, I am a changed man. Naturally, I understand that words alone would not suffice to absolve me of my sins. Thus, since my return, I have operated a humble apothecary that caters to the needs of one and all. Furthermore, I made arrangements for Miss Nashu's workshop. Rest assured that I will spare no effort in helping her see Inspector Hildebrand awakened and returned to full health. And with that, if you would excuse me, I must see to other business. Isn't he the nicest villain you've ever met? Ah, but that's right, I had just finished my latest medicine. I've got high hopes for this new recipe. By all means. The inspector is resting in a room up in Kama. Awake or asleep, I'm sure he'd enjoy your company. Let's go. girl's a friend of yours, is she? She's welcome to stay as long as she likes. I do hope her friend recovers soon, though. Sleeping on the floor hasn't been good for my back. Isn't this room nice? Mr. Chupacabra's taken care of everything, even paid the rent in full. Ah. But I'm distracting you, aren't I? You need to concentrate while you examine the inspector, yes? Study the sleeping inspector Hildebrand. You may move the camera, as well as zoom in and out. Target a section and examine it in more detail with Rugged features belie what is, at closer glance, the sensitive mien of a cultured gentleman. While he still breathes, he appears to be locked in a deep slumber. Rippling muscles bespeak impressive strength, while smooth skin suggests that only on the rarest of occasions does the man resort to violence. Troublingly, his limbs are stiff and cool to the touch, as if the blood runs cold in his veins. The exquisite buckles of the stylish footwear are a design unique to House Mandeville. These shoes would almost certainly fetch a small fortune in the markets. The inspector's condition is disturbingly reminiscent of the scions who were summoned to the first for a time. Huh? 
Hmm? Oh. Finished already? Any theories as to what's wrong with the inspector? I see. I mean, I don't, but that's what you're supposed to say at times like this, I know that much. How do we wake him up? Return his soul to his body? But where did it go, and what is it doing there? I see. Right. So can you go, there? Great. In that case, I'll leave the soul searching to you. I'm sure it goes without saying, but once you've arrived in this otherworldly world, look for a place that smells of mystery and intrigue, and chat with people there. That's standard agent of inquiry protocol. Oh, and since this is Inspector Heil Dibrand we're talking about, don't be surprised if you find him asleep, or having forgotten a thing or two. But not to worry. I've prepared my traditional medicine just in case. Don't hesitate to use it. And with that, do take care out there. When in doubt, use Nash's delights to blow the cobwebs right out. The inspector will thank you after, I'm sure. Welcome back, Sven. I offer you a pint, but my barman's sense tells me that's not why you're here. So this friend of yours has gone missing. Sorry to hear that, but plenty of travelers pass through these parts. Could you describe the fellow to me? sounds familiar. Mind you, I didn't see him myself, but I do believe one of our bounty hunters spied such a man when you were all battling that horde of spectral warriors. Guild. Come here a moment. There's someone who wants to speak with you. That's so. Make it, quick. The Ishael isn't he going to drink its shelf? If it ain't Kane Echo time, what brings you back to our neck of the woods? Now that you mention it, I did see someone like that. Back there on the battlefield, after you ran off to do more hero work. At first, I thought he was going to attack me like the rest of the spirit watsits. But no, he just stood there, striking a pose, trying to scare or seduce me. Damned if I could tell. Still, he was glowing, and I wasn't about to take any chances, so I said, hey. Piss off, ghost. <laughs> <laughs> 
and sent him packing. Did he die you ask? To which I say, what am I, a chirurgeon, also, I've kept my mug waiting long enough good talk. Could it be? The warrior of darkness. I thought that was your voice, but was convinced my ears were playing tricks on me. It's good to see you again. Didn't mean to eavesdrop, but we overheard you discussing the renegade poser. We've been searching for him for some time now. There have been sightings in Lakeland, you see. Bonard and I have been tasked with getting to the bottom of it. We have little in the way of useful information, though. All we know is that he appears without warning and strikes a disturbing pose. He's not caused any harm, if you discount the shock of a strange man gesticulating in your general direction, that is. Nevertheless, we're worried his behavior might escalate. Have you been tasked with apprehending the miscreant as well? Not quite, Vermark. Kaneko Tynes come back to track down a missing friend. If the man you're looking for might be one and the same, then why not work together? Between the three of you, you're bound to have better luck. It would be an honor, and a great help. We were just about to leave to gather testimony, as it happens. Come and join us in Sullen when you've finished here. We'll solve this mystery in no time. You always kept interesting company, that's for sure. I don't know if it would be better or worse if this poser is your friend, but I wish you the best of luck. That fellow. I, I saw him the other day on the way home from Clearmelt. I'd enjoyed one too many libations after my bath, and ended up wandering off into the forest. Before I knew it, the sun was dipping low, and the sky turning dark, and I was beginning to wonder if I'd ever make it home. Then I felt a gentle tug at my arm. And would you believe it? This odd looking man led me out of the forest and set me back on the road. I thanked him profusely, 
but he said nothing in reply, just struck this pose and walked off. If you see the fellow, tell him to come and visit. I owe him a drink or two for his kindness. Did I see him? You bet I did. I was crossing through the forest of the Lost Shepherd, on my way to deliver fish to the Ostal Imperative. Out of nowhere, this odd man left in front of me. I thought he was a bandit at first, but then he abruptly turned to the side, curled his neck, and put his fist to his head as if to say, I don't know. It was baffling. I ran when I realized he wasn't going to do anything else. I do hope you find that strange man. He may just be a nuisance for now, but we shouldn't have to suffer posing vagabonds. Why, yes, I saw someone like that when I was out picking mushrooms in the forest. He even spoke to me. I was repulsed at first by his form, but he only wanted to warn me that fell beasts lurk in the forest, and that I should be wary. Contrary to appearances, I'd say he was actually quite gentlemanly. He may look scary, but he's quite the gentleman. Why else would he have warned me about the monsters? To be honest, I'm not sure what to make of all this. Finished questioning the locals? Have you? Were you able to learn anything? Not only has the poser caused no harm, he's even helped people. So he's a gentleman, albeit a suspicious one. Something of a contradiction you might say, but there's no reason to doubt what we heard. Everyone seemed to encounter him in the forest of the Lost Shepherd, right? Then that's where we'll look next. Shall we? On the other hand, some folks might argue a suspicious gentleman is more dangerous than a man more blatant in his villainy. This gentlemanliness could well be a ruse to mask all kinds of evil intentions. Well, here we are. But how exactly are we supposed to begin our search? These woods are, well, woods. Got a plan, do you? Far be it from me to doubt the warrior of darkness. 
Show us what you've got in mind, and we'll back you up to the best of our ability. Hark. What familiar gentlemanly gyrations are these? On your guard. It's a sin eater. No, wait. That's no sin eater. Gentlemen of Light. Who is this gentleman of light of whom you speak? I am the forgiven gentleman, devourer of sins. Light word and extraordinaire. Haruk. Haruk. Inspector. Sinita. Inspector. Sinita. You are acquainted with this, uh, gentleman. Right, then. Clearly, your friend has been through a lot. But still, how did he get it in his head he's a sin eater? Is there no way to bring back his memories? Explosives. We're still trying to save him, right?
transmitted light. We have killed him. I say, Kaneko team. I had resigned myself to Nash's ungentle methodology, but you too, my brutish friend? But never mind that. I do not recall the world being quite so purple. Previously, I was with Nashu and Greg, wandering the bizarre, shadowy realm known as the Interspectorial Rift. Where am I? Who am I? That sickening light. That aggressive posturing. I know what you are. You're one of them, ain't you? What you need is a good old fashioned war from decades. Piss off, close. Run for your lives. It's a sin eater. A sin eater? I'll be damned. I saw a vision of the man's past. No wonder he became convinced he was a sin eater. I saw it too. It was, 
quite possibly, the most ridiculous memory I have ever glimpsed. Answer me, my faithful assistant. Where are we, and why is it so purple? The first? The first what? Are you telling me we've somehow traveled to an entirely different world? Good gods. To think that I have transcended the very boundaries of time and space. But worry not, my adoring fans. Hildai Brand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, will return to you forthwith. Yeah. <laughs>